presents Garth Brooks like never before. He's the best-selling solo artist of all time, and now a &E Biography is dedicating a two-night, four-hour event to his life, Garth Brooks, The Road I'm On. And joining me from Nashville is the one and only Garth Brooks. Garth, greetings from Las Vegas. You're up early out there. I think you're two hours behind us. Hey, it's Garth Brooks. What better reason to get up early in Las Vegas? <laughs> Very sweet, man. How's your holidays looking? Chaotic, stressful, but hey, I'm here with family, so all is normal. Yeah, man. I don't know how you guys do it. We get to plan when we're on and off. We get to, we get to choose our own schedule. So, And Garth, you're, you're talking to me today from Nashville. That is on my bucket list. I'm dying to visit Nashville and the Grand Ole Opry, the whole experience. Someday I'm going to get there. Oh, no kidding. Now's the time to go because this city, this city is bubbling. It's boiling and everybody's really friendly. It's still like a small town kind of thing, but a big city. So Garth, A&E is doing a two night, four hour documentary biography series about your life. Were you an open book in order for this to work? Yeah, man. Well, for one, they said if you want to be any good, you're going to have to be that way. But the truth is, it's A&E. So A&E comes in, and they're not, they're not going to do a promotional piece. They're going to get to what they want to discover as the truth. So uh, Bob Dole, uh, longtime manager, buddy, uh, we've been together since day one, said if you're ever going to do one, it's with these guys is what you want. But let me warn you, they are going to turn every stone over. So I was, I was amazed to see that my three girls are in this because we have worked so hard to kind of keep them in their own life but all three of them wanted to sit down in front of a camera the girl's mother sandy is going to talk about our marriage and how long we were married 15 years and what it was like in the 90s doing that here comes miss Sherwood talking about what it's like to be the bonus mom uh, coming in uh, to a family we you know we moved back to oklahoma to raise our kids into sandy's hometown and here comes Tricia right into Sandy's hometown and how that town and how everybody worked together to keep that family together uh, was amazing. So when people go, what are you most proud of in your life? Trust me, it won't be music, won't be the answer. It'll be what happened uh, between three adults and three children to hopefully make their life as normal as possible, but as special as possible as well. Here it is, here's the moment, right? And for three minutes, I'll listen to that. And getting to hear your song on your local country radio station, nothing gets better than that. Now, did you have a wish list of uh, colleagues and friends to be included in the show? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, James Taylor's why I play music, but he would never do this. Oh, he's in it. It's so cool. And George Strait, who I've wanted to be since I got here, and uh, he's in it. Um, it, it, it's really, really sweet. Keith Urban, you know, uh, who was the reigning entertainer of the year. Uh, and so we got to exchange in, in that as well. It was, um, that was, uh, that was, um, I'm not going to lie, man. I kind of, you kind of get to be a fan when you get to see those people talk about this experience. I don't think you get to be an artist if you're not a fan first. So I love it when I get to meet other celebrities. I love it when I get to meet athletes, politicians, stuff like that. It's fun for me because you look in their eyes and their face and you wonder what it's like to have gone through because we all watch them go through what they go through. So uh, I like being on the other side. You get to be a celebrity, but you also get to be a fan. And I gotta tell you, being a fan, I think I like even more than being a celebrity. Now, Garth, I've heard you for years saying that you're gonna slow down, that you're gonna retire, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, but you seem to be in demand more than ever. How do you balance family and fame? It's very sweet. You know, first of all, you're grateful. Uh, you know, careers usually have a certain point. Ours have been fortunate enough so far that, you know, uh, the end might be tomorrow, but I don't see it coming. Uh, but so I'm going to enjoy every second uh, that I got. Everybody's still sweet. They're showing up in stadiums, in dive bars, and you just feel very lucky. Uh, but the one thing you have learned more than anything is nothing is more important uh, than your family and those relationships you have with friends. And family doesn't have to be blood. You take care of those, everything else comes second and, and, and you'll be fine. Garth, as a Las Vegas native, I know we've been really proud of your residency here on the Strip. Uh, how has your Vegas experience been? It's always been great in, in Vegas. So, uh, you know, you got to play, uh, you got to play there, you know, early in your career uh, at the Thomas and Mac. And uh, you got to play uh, every time there for the Cowboys. And so it was fun. And then here comes Steve Wynn with a phone call and now, uh, you've been retired for 10, 12 years, 
and now you're going to come back with just you and a guitar. And I got to tell you, it was the greatest four years for me to kind of uh, learn, to kind of knock the rust off, get the wheels back going while never missing a day being a dad. Uh, that was one of the greatest gifts ever given to me. So we hit the ground running on the comeback tour because of that. And then, you know, we got to play the 4th of July weekend there, uh, there at the, uh, you know, opening the, uh, the center there. So it was, um, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun, always has been, and I can't imagine a career without Vegas. Um, people can call Vegas whatever you want, either a, uh, a town where everybody comes in. I always look at Vegas as a community. It's a family. So even the people that are visiting fit there. And that's why I love playing there. And Garth, if you're not cool enough to have your own A&E biography two-night series, it's Garth Brooks Week. You have yeah. a whole week dedicated to you. Yeah, man, it's great. It's like Shark Week, but it's Garth Week. I like it. I think they're also airing, uh, Cent uh, not Central Park, but Yankee Stadium. And I got to tell you, man, Yankee Stadium was gorgeous. It was beautifully shot. Uh, I think it was one of the first ones ever shot in 4K. So this thing feels like you can just reach out and touch it. And the crowd, it's Yankee Stadium. Are you kidding me? How iconic is that? They were singing every word note for note. It was it was a fabulous weekend for us. Well, Garth, congratulations on your A&E documentary. Also, thank you so much for coming to Vegas. We're very proud of you. And finally, my sister, Tammy Fountain, is your biggest fan, and it would make her holiday so much more special if you gave her a shout out. Yes, Tammy, I love you very, very, very much. You have the best holidays. Thanks for hearing the music. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Garth, and happy holidays. Thank you very much. The man. Garth is someone who had something to say. Behind the legend. He has a good message. That's why these songs just endure. All right, you can catch Garth Brooks' The Road I'm On December 2nd and 3rd on the a and &E Network. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.